Hey there, this is Vanessa de Berlay and welcome back. If you heard my video, my last video, I probably had a really scratchy voice and thank you for being so patient if you watched it. Um, the, the good thing that came out of that is I had been planning on going to three days a week for my videos after the first of the year. So that kind of uh, pushed me into doing that sooner because I had to miss days because I was sick. So lesson learned, always plan your videos ahead and always have them posted and ready to go just in case something like that happens. So I mean, I was usually two to three days ahead, but never a week ahead. So um, lesson learned. All right. So just so you know, on my channel, I teach you how to do affiliate marketing using YouTube that is my main platform so there's going to be a lot of youtube training um so therefore today's training is to help you um get more subscribers on youtube and i learned three secrets that i did not know about when i first started and i'm really excited about it i started digging in more to certain areas and i want to share them with you today if you're new and all that you're doing is just making video like how-to videos and posting them don't feel like you're not getting anywhere i that is how i got started i i sat around probably for six months saying i want to do vi youtube videos but i don't have my business going well enough or um this is when you do an online business especially like affiliate marketing or econ whatever you're doing there's so many pieces and systems that you need to put into place you just have to jump in and start working um eventually it'll all make sense and come together but when you're brand new and you're getting in front of the youtube and you're not really sure what content you want to do just start doing how to videos and that's what i did and i'm going to share one today that i made like seven months ago um and again i was still pretty new and it's had my most views which is crazy but i i've learned a tool now that i can go back and even make it better which i haven't done it yet because i wanted you to see what it did without me using my secrets that i'm going to share today my secrets um is well let me show you what it, what i've done in the last month just since i've changed some things um 154 percent increase in subscribers i probably sat and i'm, I'm not gonna lie here probably for four months i think by four months i got up to eight subscribers i did not know how people were doing it they kept saying go to other channels and and um tell people subscribe for me i'll subscribe for you i did that and i think i got up to 40 but oh my gosh did that take a lot of time people do that great but i don't i did it for a little bit there and i thought this is not how i want to spend my time is begging people to subscribe so i'd rather have my sub subscribe and go at its own natural organic pace than to have to go out and ask people and trade and all that stuff so um that's out there people tell you to do it but i did not and this is where i've gotten at um just in the last month 154 percent increase i'm getting close to 2000 and um i'm excited I, I didn't get 10,000 in two months like some people do, but this is what I've done and I'm going to share it with you now. So if you're like me, you're growing slow and you want some tips, I'm going to give them to you here. All right. So what I used was TubeBuddy. Now, you might have heard of TubeBuddy before. Um, I started using TubeBuddy, but I didn't know everything that it did. And when I just, you know, you get a new tool and you'll you'll use it for certain things and then you need to go back and watch more videos and really get to know it and i had the time i thought let me go back in and see what else and i was like blown away i was like oh my gosh so like i said about a month ago i started using some more of these features and got really excited and it did help me grow so faster so now i'm even more excited to dig in but this is my home page and right up here you can see my little it's an extension and you just upload it it's a chrome extension and there's the little icon and you select it and right here oh let's scroll down see where it says keyword explorer um there are other keyword explorer tools out there actually tubebuddy has keywords that they recommend when you're uploading and i've shared that before and that's kind of how i kept using it but i wasn't aware of this feature which even goes into more depth and that's what really got me excited so you've kind of got two different ways that you can use this but let's go into the keyword explorer area so up here i'm going to put in tube buddy tutorial just find something okay because that's what we're doing today i guess and what i want you to look at now i haven't done a lot of tube to buddy um, reviews or tutorials i think i only have like five videos so my overall search when people are searching for that is poor because that's not something i'm real heavy in um, but if you brought up another person like nick nimmons or um, 
Daryl Eves, I think does too, buddy. You're going to see that would be higher. And the more videos you do on a certain subject and the more people search and connect you with that, that will go up. So I'm, I'm just telling you why that says that, but this is what I want you to look at down here says 338,000 people searched for this, um, totally. And then right below it, 280 people per month. Now that number is kind of high. Um, if I were to use that as one of my keywords, it's probably going to hurt me more than it would help me because I'm not a huge guru and I'm probably not going to get that spot, you know, in the ranking because I have a small channel. So what I want to do is get long tail keywords. Well, what this tool does it over here, it says, well, here are some suggestions. Why don't you try two buddy tutorial 2019? See the suggestions over here on the right. Okay. So let's see what that does. I want that number to get smaller and actually look the overall score fair. It went up. All right. Now it goes down to 161,000. So that's better. Watch this. What if I said 2020? 2020 is almost here, right? What happens there? It goes back down to poor, but that's not what we're looking at. Um, let's go. Now it's only 21,000. So if I put that keyword or even that as my title, I'm going to have a, a, more likely that I'm going to hit that first page on the ranking just because there's not a lot of competition. Okay. So you have to decide, um, you know, are you a small channel, which I would assume cause you're watching me. Um, but that's how you can find out how to just rephrase that. Now over here, there's nothing related to two buddy tutorial 2020, but if I wanted to find when I'm putting my keywords, when I upload my video, go back to where it says tutorial, and then I can use some of these as my keyword search. All right. They're all here. Now they may come up as well when I load my video, because um, I've showed you in other videos, how TubeBuddy will allow, they'll have a whole bunch of suggestions for you, but this is what I want to show you that, that, that doesn't do. What should I put? What should I put as my title for searching? Okay. Cause I want to get ranked on that first page. So that's one of my secrets that has really helped a lot. I just dug in a little bit deeper and that's what happens in this business. You, you learn things, you learn them well, and then you just dig in deeper and deeper. I always, I have a friend that I work with, actually, we live in two different States, but I always say there's some secrets out there that we don't know yet. And I just can't wait till we unlock them. Um, because there are, that's why, you know, they're there and we're, you're where you're at and I'm where I'm at because we have to learn as we go. All right, let me show you secret number two. Now this I had already been doing, but I'm refining it. If that makes sense. I had a video called, um, Hootsuite versus buffer. I just went in, I dug in, did some research and I just compared the two. It, like I said, I did a lot of how to videos, um, just to keep myself moving with my content, anything that had to do with my business. Cause like I said, there's so many systems. Well, back then, these are all the tags that I used and I got these tags. I didn't know what long tail tags were at the time. I'm getting ready to revise this, but what I want to show you that TubeBuddy does, it tells you a relevancy score. So you see where all these scores are, um, the green next to all the words, those are words that actually helped people find my video. And this one has, was posted about seven months ago and it has 8,000 views. So it's my number one ranking video. There's a lot of people looking for social media management tools. Hootsuite is very popular. So what I can do is put that in the keyword search on the other side, get rid of some of these words or keywords that aren't fine, aren't getting any searches and change it up. And maybe it'll get searched some more. So, like I said, I, I wanted to show what this did when I didn't know what I was doing, basically, I was just pulling, um, actually, I think when I made this, I didn't even have two buddy, to be honest, I can tell by the keywords, but also I was telling you earlier, when you post your video, YouTube buddy will give you some more suggestions. So that's what you see here. And I can search, search by relevancy and I can search by score. So the higher the score. Now, remember the higher the score, the higher the competition. So more people are searching for it. So you want to kind of get somewhere in the middle and you want to make sure whatever you choose is relevant to your video. Okay. So you don't want to put, um, PGA golf when I'm showing something with Hootsuite. Yes, it might get more people to find it, but they're going to get mad because it has nothing to do with PGA golf. So as an example, 
So that's another thing that YouTube Buddy does. And another thing I like that it does, you can say sort. Um, let's say I accidentally put the word social media on here twice, okay? And I didn't know it. Now it went in red because I went over 500 um, characters. But whoop, let me get rid of that. Okay, see where it says sort? I can hit sort. And it says, look, you have a duplicate. So what I love about this is you can just remove the duplicate and then save. I love that because when I first started putting all my keywords in, I was always like, oh my gosh, you know, trying to pay attention. Do I have any duplicates? You don't have to do that. Just, just keep adding them and then go over to sort and take out the duplicate. So that's a nice feature. And that's from TubeBuddy. I see TubeBuddy as not only helping me rank, but it helps me save time because of things like that because you know and i know there are a lot of little things like that that eat up a lot of your time and we just don't have a lot to give up so let's go to number three now once you get your TubeBuddy account if this is what you decide you'd like to try when you go on your home page you're going to see um well, let me pull this up a little bit you're going to see a thing on the side that says right here it says promo material so see this little mega speaker you're going to have like some icons on your home page and then you want to select that i had something on my home page i didn't really want to um, share so that's why i didn't bring you from there but you're looking for this little megaphone and it says promo materials this is so cool again i wasn't aware of it at first um these are links that are to my channel and i can use this link and it says most recent upload most popular upload and it will take the person clicking the link to the most popular upload or to the most recent upload now I know in my page it's going to take them to Hootsuite and it's not really my brand I'm not really a social media management person I was just sharing different tools and like I said it was back when I was doing a lot of um, how-to videos and how to use different tools so I want to take people to my most recent upload they're more more relevant more applicable to what I'm doing and you're saying, well, where could you use that? Well, you could bring it to a web page. You could put it in a blog. And this is what I did. I actually turned it into a shortened link. I go to Bitly. If you put in um, bitly.com or just say link shortener, I got the shorter link. And then I put it into my Instagram account. So for a while, I was sending people to my um, website or I was sending them to a sales funnel. Well, since I'm really... Um, YouTube is like my thing now. <laughs> I love it. Um, that's where I want to send people. That's where I want to build my audience. So I just put it right here in on my in my profile on Instagram and it says on YouTube now. Hit this link and it will automatically take them to my most recent video. So it's not I don't have to keep going back and changing it. I could use it if I were to do a Facebook ad, I and was you know promoting something on on about YouTube, it will take them directly to the most recent if that's what I want, or I can take them to a specific one. So I just thought that was really cool, and it will even run analytics for you and let you know how many people are clicking in. So I can say, okay, how many people are coming from Instagram? How many people are coming from Twitter? Or if I post it on Facebook, so pretty cool. But those are the three secrets that I have been using and it has increased my subscriber rate by 154% in one month. So again, I'm not at 10,000, I'm not at 10 million or whatever, but it has brought me from where I was to where I am. And those are the changes that I made to get there. So I wanted to share that with you because I know you're new and I, I see other people sometimes when I'm looking at videos and they're like, you know, I'm only, at, you know, 20, subscribers i'm trying to get to a thousand it can be discouraging if you're just trying to post content and do nothing else i you could have the most brilliant content in the world and if people don't know you or see you or finding you then you're not going to get the subscribers so you have to do things like this or other secrets to get seen so that people will subscribe to you so what i like to do if i go out all the time and look for content because I love to see what other people are doing. And if I see right away that somebody is a small channel, I always subscribe because I want to help small subscribers. Um, I don't always subscribe to the big channels unless it's something I really want to see all the time because they're 
somehow always on my recommended list anyway. But I do that for, that's how I do it instead of asking people. Of course, I want you to subscribe today because you're watching and you're interested in growing your channel and you wanted to know those secrets. But I, I highly recommend that you do subscribe to my channel and get TubeBuddy. Now, you're saying, I'm new, all these tools cost a lot. This is the cool thing. TubeBuddy is only $9 a month and there's a little link up here. See where it says, I have less than a thousand subscribers. This is what I did. Look, it's $4.50 a month. I love that TubeBuddy likes the little guy that they're trying to help. And I'm getting ready personally to up mine. I think I've been, I don't know how long I've been on this account. I'm not going to even say it. I don't know. It's been less than six months, obviously, probably less than four. But I'm going to go ahead and go to the Legend account and I can get a discount there if I want to pay yearly. See that? $39. Or I can just pay monthly. Well, that's monthly. That's yearly. 20% off. Or I can pay yearly or monthly and get for $49. But I'm going to make another video and, and show some of the features that the Legend account has. Actually, let me take you back real quick. Um, not here. Okay, see here where I brought up Keyword Explorer? Let's X that out. Let's hit that little TubeBuddy icon again. And I want to show you real fast. I'm not going to go into detail, but these are some things that TubeBuddy will do on the other account. There is a thumbnail generator you can use in TubeBuddy with the, the pro account. It will give you a health report. There's analytics very similar to, to, uh, to YouTube's analytics. They're, they're very similar, um, but they're laid out differently. They're nice to have. This is what I'm excited about. Video A-B testing. You can compare your, um, do A-B testing with your thumbnail with your title and with your description. And I, I just think that's invaluable. And let's say you're like me and you've got over 300 videos, you've been trugging along and now you're like, oh gosh, there's so many things I wanna to do to go back and update and make them even better. You can do bulk processing and that is so cool. But again, you have to be on that top um, program. Um, but right now, if you're just starting out, go for the pro. I highly, 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 highly recommend pro if you do nothing else. So I have a link below. Help me out. Um, if if you hit my link, TubeBuddy will reward me. You don't have to do anything. You just pay your fee just like I do. So um, I'd appreciate it. If not, that's fine too. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you find value in this and start using some of these secrets so that you can increase your subscriber and your audience as well. All right, I'll see you on the next video. Again, just a reminder, I will be posting on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, three times a week. Have a good one.